Hello everyone, welcome to the ninth part of this responsive web design team development from scratch. And in today's video, we're going to be styling the navigation links here. Okay, so first thing we need to do is make sure that they are centered vertically um, in the middle of this header here. So let's go ahead and deal with that. So inside our index.html, um, let's have a look at what we need to target. So it's inside a nav element with a class of main nav okay and each navigation item has is an a tag and it has no class so we can just say main nav and a okay so let's go to the header section of our main.css and first thing we need to do is say main nav we have to make it a display of table okay and then we say main nav a tags which is each navigation element we have to give it a display of table cell and then we're going to vertically align it in the middle okay so let's have a look at that okay so refreshing the browser um, that doesn't work and the reason for that is because we haven't given it a height so we have to give it a height of 100 pixels and refresh that as you can see it's been vertically centered so now let's go ahead with the rest of the styling. We want to give it a color of white. So we'll say FFF. Okay, refresh and has a color of white. Next, let's give it a padding. We we'll get a padding top um, and bottom of 10 pixels, left and right of 20 pixels. Refresh, as you can see, that works. Next, let's give it a border um, left of black. So we'll say one pixel solid has zero zero. And we'll do the same for the right as well. So it will have a, actually we're not going to do that for some reason. I'll show you why in a moment. So it has a left border of one, two pixels, solid black. And for the last one in the list of navigation elements, we're gonna give that a border right because we don't want these borders to be duplicated. So we'll target this last one. And how do we target that? We'll say main nav a and last of type. That's saying the type, which is a tag. Select the last one. I'm just give it a border right of um, one pixels solid black. Okay. So let's refresh the browser and see what we have. Yep, it's coming up nicely. So next, let's take care of the hover elements. So we wonder any time that we hover over um, any a tag, its color changes to the green one. So we'll say color hash five eight c nine three a. We'll save that. Refresh the browser. Um, well, apparently I forgot to put the hover here. We don't want it to be green by default. So when I refresh this, any time that we hover, it has a color of green, just like the um, logo here. Okay, also we want that when we hover over it, it has this um, green colors here, as you can see. When we're hovering, it has these bottom borders here. So we're going to do that now for these as well. So let's just say border bottom is two pixels, solid green, which is 5AC93A. Refresh, as you can see, now we have that. Okay, so Last but not the least, let's make sure the navigation is responsive as well. So let's keep resizing this browser. As you can see, when it gets to a small point, it just drops down and it doesn't look really good. So let's take care of that. Let's add some um, responsive breakpoints. So we'll say at media and we'll say main width. That is when the browser is at a minimum width of 750 pixels. We want the main nav and the main logo to both have a width of auto. Initially, they'll both have to start at a width of 100%. So let's go up here. Um, main nav main logo 
with 100% and I'll show you why that is as you can see when it's at a small size let's refresh this browser when they are at a small size we want them to both take the full width of their container as you can see here but as we increase when we get to 750 pixels um, I'll just show you in the inspector here just look at this part of the screen here we have 584 when we get to 750 the page should um, make sure that they're on the same line okay as you can see 750 just look at the margin right now they're both on their same line they're both on their own line at 100 uh, percent width but as we go up 747 8 9 50 as you can see we set the width to auto that is saying that um, be controlled by the browser and not by what we've said okay so um that's it guys for this tutorial video and um as usual, if it's helpful, please do rate, comment, and subscribe. And uh, please help share the video so others can learn as well. And I thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Bye bye.